Well, hello, hello, hello. Yes, it has been a minute since Stella did a live video. And I just wanted to let you guys know I am still here. I am alive and well. I um, actually had a challenge with my voice. You know, the enemy doesn't want you. He doesn't want you to talk. He doesn't want... This year, this uh, 5780 is the year of the mouth. And so if you look at what the satanic effort has been, it has been all about silencing the body, the mask, the, the, the coronavirus, the, the physiological attack on the respiratory system, the, 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 the thoracic cavity, which is required for the mouth to speak and to decree. But you know, with every attack, well, the Word of God says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. So I want to start this video out by saying whatever attack the enemy has brought against you, you just need to make a list of them. Just write them down and everything that the enemy is doing to come against you, just make a list and then go to that scripture. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out out of them all. So I want to start out with that word of encouragement to you to let you know that there is no test, no trial, no temptation that can come to you individually such as is come to, common to men. But with every test, with every trial, with every difficulty and every challenge, the Lord has made a way of escape. He's already made provision for you to come out. Now what I'm going to talk about a little bit in this video today is how to access that provision and some things that we have, some mindsets that we, particularly people of color, I'm talking to my folk today, I'm talking to my folk in two categories, I'm talking to my folk who are Christians, believers, people who, who name the name of Christ, and I'm talking to my folk, people of color who look like me, brown, brown like me. Okay, so you can go ahead if you're on here, go ahead and share this video because today I'm going to be talking about breaking off the ropes of racism. Okay, now as we look, as we look at the agenda in the atmosphere, you have to stop and ask yourself, one, whose agenda are you aligning with? Because there was a day when it was okay to be a part of, a, you know, the black agenda, the, the, but, but now... It's it, in, in this hour of when 2020, when the clock turned to 2020 and we entered this new era, it became, it became really about two things, the kingdom of God's dear son and the kingdom of darkness. Everything that's happening in this earth realm is aligning you up and aligning me up with one of those two kingdoms. Okay, so I'm talking about talk, talking specifically to people who want to align with the kingdom of God, step over into the divine provision that has already been released, access the kingdom authority where you will be, where you people are seeing results, when you see results when you pray. I'm not talking about race, I'm talking about results. Now, the thing that provoked this insight in my spirit was an, a, a, a dear friend of mine, whom I love very much, shared a video where a pastor or a minister was teaching. And again, it's not about people. What we're talking about is results, not race. We're talking about results. And there are two kingdoms, no in between, the kingdom of God's dear son and the kingdom of darkness. Every decision, every mindset, every attitude, Everything about us is aligning us and bringing us into agreement with one of those kingdoms. Now, the issue is when you start looking at the kingdom that you are aligned with, it will determine what results you are able to foster. Good morning, Marcel. Good morning. Good morning. That's my spiritual son. Good morning, Lashida. Good morning, Deborah. So what we're talking about is there are only two, there are only two kingdoms. When 2020 shifted, everything and how we did it for the old era was gone. So now let me break it down to what does that mean in terms of what kingdoms and what mindsets and what ideologies you align with, okay? The kingdom of God has an agenda. 
And anytime you attach yourself to a kingdom in order for you to access the full benefits of those of that kingdom, Lisa and Deborah, is you must align yourself with the agenda, with the mindset, with the purposes, with the goals, with the re so that you so once you align with the agenda, the purposes, the goals, you then have the authority to access the resources necessary to perpetuate the mission of the agenda you are aligned with. Let me say that again. Once you ask, you make a decision about which kingdom you are going to align with, it then grants you the spiritual authority. In other words, when you say, God, it's about what do you want? What are you doing? Where are you going? Holy Spirit, what is on your list? What do you say about this issue? What is your heart about this issue? Once you establish that, then the Holy Spirit will partner with you. And he, according to the scriptures, when you don't know what things to pray for as you are, then once you, sit, you shift your attention to the kingdom agenda, then you, the Holy Spirit can say, I'm going to show you what the Father is doing. I'm going to show you what Jesus is praying as he is seated at the right hand of the Father. Once you know what Jesus is praying, now you have the ability to come into alignment and to bring your unique battery of gifts, talents, knowledge, and purpose into agreement with what Jesus is doing. Then the kingdom of God will allocate the resources necessary for you to step. Now, what are those resources? The resources is an anointing because you will need the anointing to remove burdens and destroy yokes. You, the kingdom of resources that he will allocate to you. Not only is an anointing, but it is a divine governmental authority because you are an ambassador and a representative of the kingdom. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. So as long as you are trying to identify with what black folk need and what black folk doing, you will miss the kingdom trying to be black. I'm just telling y'all the truth. That era is over. And when I heard this speaker talking, and God bless him and I love him, he said, Donald Trump did not appoint a single black judge. You know what? I, I, I looked at that and I was like, wow. But then the Holy Spirit spoke to me. And the Holy Spirit said, it's not about race. It's about results. And it's about results that come into alignment with what the kingdom of God is doing in this new era. And so when you look at what many people of color are aligned with, it is so far off the radar of where God is. And then you wonder why God ain't picking your people. I'm just saying. So what we have to do is break off the ropes of racism. Now, what is racism? Racism is an emotional state. It's not just an ideology. It's not just a belief system, but it is a spiritual state, Emmanuel, that people, and Deborah, that people attach to and align with. And once you get that hook, you know, Jesus said that Satan has nothing in me. Racism is a hook in people of color, in black people, that he has used. And once Satan, the reason Jesus said Satan has nothing in me, he was saying that there is no hook that the enemy can attach to my heart to jerk me around and do all to, to get me to snatch my attention off focus so that I won't hear the voice of God. I won't take the necessary action. I won't come into alignment with the kingdom because I'm totally distracted by my emotions. I'm all mad trying to blame everybody for where I, you know, I look at some of my friends in school and I was, I remember having a conversation when I first moved back to Mississippi with some very dear friends of mine. I said, well, you, and I started buying properties and I said, well, you can buy a house too. Come on, go to this first time home buyers class with me. Did they do it? No. See, what you come into alignment with determines where your focus is. If you're focused on racism, every time somebody, every time a black person gets shot by a police, a black person gets shot by a, a policeman, we're going to all, everybody's going to get all mad and all excited and going in the streets. The devil is a lie. Our race is not defined by one or two acts of, 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 of hundreds of thousands of police officers across this nation. 
We should not divert our, so we take our attention off of home ownership, business ownership, eliminating debt. There are all kinds of strategies right now that God has dropped into the earth that can get you out of debt, that can get you into a business. The best time to start a business is in an economic downturn. That's when the new opportunities for the new season appear. But if you are busy, mad, looking at raising, everybody talking about your raising, talking about what's happening with black people, that is a democratic, demonic agenda designed to distract people of color. Because let me break it down to you. This election is probably the last election that the African-American vote will even matter. You want to know why? Because 22.5 million people are not here. We have systematically eliminated half of our voters. Now that's important because when you take out half the people who would be here to vote, your voice is reduced to 50% of its value. I'm just telling you the truth. So what I am saying today is that we need to break off the ropes of racism. Take that off the table. Take that off your ship, your focus. Why? Because if you are focused on racism and you're distracted, then what God is doing in the earth, you won't even be able to see. You won't even be able to recognize where God is going. If you can't see where God is going, and if you're not aware of what God is doing, you cannot participate with what God is releasing, which means you don't have access access to the anointing. You don't have access to the governmental authority. You don't have access to the resources and the financial transfer. You don't have access. And that's what the issue for people of color has been. Our issue has been access. Now, the access that God is trying to grant you, that has, it is not influenced or limited by what people do in the earth. Because the word of God says that, that, oh, God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his people. It is his responsibility to help you move to the next level. You, you and I live by the blessing. We don't live by governmental rule. We live by the blessing. Because when you step into the blessing, God's order, God's kingdom, takes, it, takes, it steps into effect and you override. You override. That's why Matthew chapter 16, Jesus was telling the apostles, I have given you authority to bind and to loose. So a lot of us, so been, a lot, we've been busy binding, but we haven't replaced it with anything. We haven't learned and partnered with the Holy Spirit and taken on his agenda enough so that we care about what matters to God. When you can, I'll never forget what the Lord spoke to me when I was going through a, a difficult time in that, that divorce and past the Lord spoke to me and he said you take care of my business and I will take care of yours from that moment when I shifted my attention and started to pay attention to what God was doing the Lord started to handle my issues and to resolve the things that I was dealing with one by one and one by one those things that were on my plate fell off God took care of it so the ropes of racism are a tool by Satan. So that's why I looked at Joe Biden. I'm like, you ain't got no agenda. You have nothing. You have no agenda. What are you going to do for me? Oh, we just fighting for the heart and soul of a nation. No, America's heart and soul is just fine. What I want to know is what will Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, what spirit will you release into this nation? What spirit will you give access to this nation? Barack Obama gave access to a whole new level of demonic activity. Like it or lump it, you know it's the truth. So when you look at what they are releasing into the earth, what they are releasing, that's what the issue is. It's not about race. It's about results. It's about what is being released. It's about what are they carrying in the spirit that gives Satan access or gives God access to release into this nation. That's the issue. That's the issue. So think about this. 
Next is racism is a spirit. So we know that racism, it's a rope, it's a hook. Jesus described that when he said that Satan has no hook in me. In other words, when he said that he has no place in me, he was saying that there is nothing that the enemy can hook to in my heart and jerk me around, distracting me, pulling me off focus, getting me out of alignment, getting me off kilter so that he can then, when you are not looking at the things that matter, you miss the things you need to see. Okay, so racism is a spirit. You form a demonic partnership with Satan. Now, you align with the victim mentality. Now, there, yeah, I'm not saying that there are issues that people need to, that we need to address. But when you look at the stuff that really matters, hello, Christine, I love you, girl. When you look at the stuff that really matters, they are, racism is small in comparison to what really matters. Because there's not a personal, when it comes to the things that are necessary for us to step into agreement with what God is doing, with the transfer of wealth, with the release of dollars, with the release of funds that are essential for coming into alignment with the kingdom of God's purposes. That's what matters. And you can't come into alignment with kingdom purposes by promoting the agenda of a demonic entity. Abortion is demonic. And when you come into alignment with abortion, you come into alignment with the demonic entity that's releasing that curse upon the land. So you, you have to realize it's racism is a spirit. And who you agree with, you attach to the spirit that they are operating under. Now, let's look at the next piece. So it is really important that you remove the ropes of racism and take those off the table at the forefront of your agenda. Now, how do you do that? You go to the Spirit of God. Now, there are some people that God has assigned to deal with and to manage those issues. And if they step into their assignment and do what they're called to do, God will see to it that those issues are addressed. But when you are using that as a smoke screen for not taking appropriate action as a smoke screen, we've had this time where that, where that people got $600 a week for 16 weeks, more, more, more money than a lot of them have had in I don't know how long. And instead of utilizing a lot of people out doing, wasting that money, instead of taking that money, use, getting it ready, you could have used that money to set it aside to cover a deposit on buying a house. You, there's so many things. But see, we won't see that because the enemy got you looking at racism. Got you out in the streets fighting and looting and burning and destroying. That is demonic. And you cannot partner with the kingdom of God and the demonic realm at the same time. So when I hear Kamala Harris say, well, this, this rioting is not going to stop. Just because, the, just because the election happens, it's not going to stop. In the name of Jesus, I decree that, that greater is the spirit of the living God that is in the kingdom and in the earth than the demonic spirits that are trying to destroy this land. And in Jesus' name, with all the fervor, with all the kingdom authority, with all the anointing, with all the fight that is in me. I pray in Jesus' name that every weapon that the enemy is employing against this nation be destroyed. No weapon formed against the United States of America and its kingdom assignment in this era will prosper. America has an assignment and I decree in Jesus' name that not Joe Biden, not Kamala Harris, not the divine, the, the demonic agenda behind them, when you're telling me, you're saying out of your mouth that your whole purpose is to bring about fighting and looting and destruction? No. I, as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, I cannot partner with that. And I don't care who you are. If you are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you cannot come into alignment with the spirit of lawlessness and be a part of the kingdom of God. You can't do it. You can't do it. In B, you can't do it. 
So what we have to decide as a people, particularly as a black people who are in the kingdom of God, you have to decide what, ask Jesus, ask the Holy Spirit, what is your agenda? What is your agenda? What is your agenda? Because it's not about race, it's about results. It's not about race, it's about results. It's not about race, it's about God's purposes being promoted in this last and final hour before Jesus himself returns to the earth. We are not shaped by racism. We're more than that. And we know that because there are far too many African Americans who have grown, who have excelled, who have moved, who have gotten their education. You have the same, you know, this, the devil wants you to think that, oh, I, you can't have anything. We're not, you know, there's, there's this attack about, you know, the enemies, you know, the enemy hates black people. And he, well, you know what? The enemy hates all people. Yes, he does. He hates all humanity. He hates anything made in the image of God. So what's happening now? I'm telling you now, this is what you, so based on all that I said, this is what you need to know. God is raising up a generation of people of color. God has released into the atmosphere an anointing that we can access. It is increasing. It is enlarging. It is expanding. And he is challenging and inviting you to come into alignment with the kingdom of heaven's agenda. He is inviting you to come into agreement with the kingdom of heaven's agenda. He is imploring and invoking you to come into agreement with the kingdom of heaven's agenda. Once you do, then you will begin to see how to walk in kingdom authority. This is why I love Bill Winston. Because Bill Winston has been teaching this message for years. He, Bill Winston has been decreeing this message for years. He has been saying, you get to learn to exercise your heavenly governmental authority. You step into heavenly governmental systems. You take authority and you get to define the world. You get to create the world that you live in. There is an increased anointing arising upon these individuals it will enable you to establish the kingdom of God into earth due to reform culture and to destroy the works of the devil at all times let me say it again Christine that anointing that anointing will enable you to build the kingdom of God, to reform culture, and to destroy the works of the devil at the same time. There is coming an anointing upon the people of God that will be so great that there will be a day when all that will have to happen is where God will take one of them into a rioting era, area, and the power of God will be so great until they will fall to the ground under the influence of the anointing because the anointing will remove burdens and destroy yokes. It's coming. And the question is, will you be one of those? There is coming an anointing and it's intensified. I'm seeing even in my, in my own life, stuff that I used to deal with, it does, it's not even on my radar anymore. Stuff that used to trouble the servant, I, I don't, it's not even on my radar anymore. Satan wants you to think that your world is defined by racial injustice. It is not. Your world is defined by what you say, what you decree, the actions you take, and what kingdom you choose to come into alignment with. You cannot come into alignment with abortion and expect God to bless you. You cannot come into alignment with an agenda designed to destroy the, the family that God created. No, 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 no. And no, Michelle, God is not going to pass you. He can't because he's already decreed that there's nothing that can separate you from the love of God. No, 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 no. Hi, back here. Nothing separates you. So we get to determine which direction you're moving in. And rest assured, the kingdom of God suffereth violence, but the violent take it by force. The anointing is rising. The governmental authority is increasing. The mantles are dropping. And the power of God is accelerating across the United States of America. Don't be distracted by what you see the devil doing. It's just a smoke screen, baby. Don't get it twisted. God is empowering his people to step into their assignment. Like sleeper cells, like sleeper cells and suicide bombers. He is putting people, God is strapping people with his Holy Ghost anointing. He has put the button in your hand and he is saying, just wait. I'm going to drop you somewhere in a minute and you're going to pop that 
thing off. And you're going to destroy the works of the devil. You're going to clean out entire city systems that are corrupted. And the power of God is going to be released. And the question is, will you be a part of that? Or will we still be going around talking about black people this? Ain't no black people. It ain't about race. It's about results for the kingdom of God. And I look at men over the years. I've looked at many cities. God help me. I've looked at many cities that have been taken over. That have had black leadership. And I look at the state and the condition of the people. And it breaks my heart. So here's what you got to do. This is your action item. Every person must identify what kingdom you will align with. How do you know which kingdom you are a part of? We have the kingdom of God's dear son and you have the kingdom of darkness. You know which part, which kingdom to identify with by understanding what matters to God. You must come, you must come into alignment with the kingdom agenda. Until you come into alignment with the kingdom agenda, you will not have access to the kingdom authority. You will not have access to the kingdom provision. You will not have access to the kingdom protection. Why? Because you will be out of alignment with where the kingdom is going. It's like a herd of buffalo moving in a direction. As long as all the buffalo stay grouped together and they move at the same pace and they move at the same speed and they allow the speed of the leader to set the pace of the pack. Jesus Christ is the head of the church. He is moving in a direction. He is the leader and he is setting the pace of the pack. If you choose to come into an alignment that is inconsistent with his plan that is inconsistent with the will of God that is inconsistent with the purposes of God you will be like one of those animals on the fringe and the enemy will always goes after the will the beast that's outside the circle you must choose which kingdom you come into alignment with. So you can't come into, you can't say, hi, Papa Anthony. You can't say, I'm in agreement. I'm, I'm on the Lord's side. I bless the people. The Lord going to prosper you. No, the Lord is going to prosper those who are his. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. One of his commandments is, thou shall not kill. Don't tell me you can kill 22.5 million babies and Jesus say oh it's okay honey no and in this hour and in this era we have come into a place where God is saying choose ye this day who you will serve choose who you're coming into alignment with every person has to identify the kingdom that you are coming into alignment with and the only way you get into alignment with the kingdom is you come into agreement with the kingdom agenda now i'm going to just give you a couple of quick things that you have to come into agreement with in namibia i'm going to give you just a couple number one matthew 24 14 that is where we are in kingdom timeline matthew 24 14 that scripture says that in the last days the gospel of the kingdom must be preached and in order for the gospel of the kingdom to be preached there has to be a level of freedom in the world and so the United States cannot become a socialist Marxist communist nation because they are anti-gospel they are anti-Jesus they are anti-Christ they are anti-God so if you are promoting and partnering with the spirit that is promoting socialism that is promoting Marxism that is promoting communism Christian you are not you are on the fringes of the kingdom and where Jesus is going the head is going in a direction where the gospel can freely be preached that's where he's going and anything that comes to hinder that is outside of the kingdom you are outside of the kingdom and you are out of alignment I'm just telling you black pastor and Democrats, you think it's okay? You think God's just gonna let, just gonna sit back and say, "Well, y'all can keep killing six hundred thousand, baby. Y'all, it, it's okay." No, it's not okay. And the reason it's not okay is because there come. My mom used to always say, "She says sin has a payday." There comes a day when sin and wickedness has to be answered for. 
The answer for it, the God's first answer for it, is Second uh, Second Chronicles fourteen. If my people who are called by name, my name will humble themselves, that's the first phase. Then the second phase is if we do that, God will heal our land. Now, when God heals the land, He heals the land through the hands of the people empowered with kingdom authority, kingdom anointing, kingdom resources, who then can turn around and reform culture and shape where the where the nation is going. In the last days, the gospel of the kingdom must be preached. Thank you, Michelle. So now, what, so, so what are your steps? Number one, know this. You cannot align with the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of darkness agenda and expect to be a part of the kingdom of God move. There are, in order for you to access kingdom resources, kingdom privileges, kingdom governmental authority, kingdom anointing, you must, you must come into alignment with the kingdom agenda. What is the kingdom of God's agenda? Number one, the gospel must be preached, Matthew 24. Number two, the life, the word of God says that God is a God of life. That there is no way we can continue to kill babies as a church and be silent. As a church and participate. You can't go vote for, an, uh, for a party that says it's okay to kill African American babies systematically. And, and act a genocide upon our people. And then have the nerve to say, well, he didn't appoint any, any black judges. Well, maybe the black judge that he would have appointed was aborted 35 years ago. Just saying. Just saying. Last thing I'm going to say is this. It's a very powerful paradigm. And it's very important that you understand. Back in the dark ages, in the, in the middle ages, when they began the witch hunts, one of the things that they did in the witch hunts is they, they, saw, they associated cats with witches. And so systematically they began to kill the cats. What they didn't realize in killing the cats is that the cats were the greatest control for the rats. So when you kill the cats, the rat population exploded. When the rat population exploded, the bubonic plague in, exploded and killed millions of people across Europe. All because people didn't understand the connection between what you do today and the results you get 10, 10, 15, 20 years from now. And what many African Americans don't understand is when you systematically eliminate 50% of your population and then you turn around and say, well, we just, you're not, you're not, you're not care, you're not concerned about what matters to us. You know what makes people concerned when you got numbers that can be there, when you got numbers. Imagine what would happen if we had a good 10 additional 10 million people who could go to the polls and vote. But no, we've killed 22.5 million. And then you wonder why your voice is weak. And then they, they train you with a demonic spirit called racism and tell you, oh, just go out in the streets and tear everything up. Using you to bring destructions to the very cities where you live. And then now, not only do you not have a place to live, you don't have a grocery store. You burn down all the jobs. If that ain't stupid, it is a demonic entity being perpetuated through the Democratic Party. And you must open your eyes because you will not have access. If you stay on that side, remember, there are only two directions. There is the kingdom of God and there is the kingdom of darkness. Choose you this day whom you will serve. You cannot partner with a demonic agenda and expect to receive heavenly resources to fund you. You cannot partner with a demonic agenda and expect heaven to protect you. You cannot partner with a demonic agenda and expect heaven to heal you and to cover you and to keep you. Because you are on the wrong side of the fence. So the partnership that you establish is the one who will fund you. You partner with the Democratic Party, expecting them to take care of you, 
the government, God never told the government to take care of the poor. He told the church to take care of the poor. And if the church would do their job, you so we said, well, you know, we don't, the Democrats don't care about the babies once they get here. That's a lie. That, that, that's not true. Because many babies, my own son included, the devil invited me to abort my child. Not one day has he not had provision. Not one day has he not been taken care of. And in most instances, when people choose life, God provides what they need to manage it. In addition, if you say, well, the Republicans don't care about the babies once they get here. So, we're, so, so what I hear you saying, Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, is we're, since the government's not going to pay for, what God, for who God told me to take care of, I'm going to abort the responsibility so that I don't have to fulfill the obligation that God gave his church. It's okay to abort the baby just because I don't want to take care of it as the church. Something to think about. So what have we talked about today? We're talking about breaking off the ropes of racism. Racism is, an, is, a, is a rope that is tied to an emotional state. Satan uses that, and Jesus described that emotional state as a hook. He said that Satan has nothing in me. In other words, he was saying he doesn't have anything that he can hook to in my heart to jerk me around and to get me off focus. Racism is a hook that Satan has used to jerk people of color around and get you off focus. He wants you to focus on, oh, Trump is racist. No, I grew up in Mississippi, baby. Trump, that ain't racism. What you talking about? That ain't racism. That may be ignorance. It may be the way, it may be speaking things that are, that are, incons that are inconsistency simply because you are, you're in a culture that you've never had to experience people of color much. But that ain't racism. No, racism is when they come and they throw, they shoot in your house all night and they kill your, they kill the father. That's what happened to my grandfather. That was the KKK. That's what happened. That's why I never knew my granddaddy. That's racism. Racism is when they come and they burn your house down and tell you, we told you black folk don't come move in this neighborhood. And since you did, we're going to burn your house down. That's racism. We don't worry, Michelle. The issue is we don't see when you focus on the problem, you distract yourself and you create is you create a perception around the problem that you don't focus on the problem. What you do is you turn your heart to the solution and God says that he will give you answers, but you can't focus on racism as the, as the solution. You have to focus on God and turning to the kingdom of God and saying, Lord, what is your solution to this issue? you how do I become a resource to change it that and you can't do that by being in partnership with the demonic to get access to kingdom insight to get access to kingdom wisdom to get access to kingdom provision to get access to kingdom alignment you uh, to get access to kingdom kingdom resources you have to come into alignment with the kingdom of God's agenda you cannot partner with an agenda that is inconsistent with the heart of God and then expect God to pay for you to take abort babies. You can't vote in alignment with people who think it's okay to abort babies and then expect God to provide for your church when you stand up in your pulpit and you tell people, oh, we're not going to vote for him because he's racist. Oh, but you're going to vote somebody that's going to kill 600,000 African-American babies. That's okay. That's okay with God. Don't work that way. Now, I can't tell you how to vote, but I can tell you what the kingdom of God's agenda is. I can tell you that. Why? Because the Holy Spirit has shown me. He has shown many, 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 many believers across this land. And, he has and it's been prophesied. It's been spoken. If you want to know the kingdom of God's agenda, don't take my word for it. Ask the Holy Spirit for yourself. In fact, some of you guys have been having dreams. You've been waking up. Some of y'all can't even sleep. And this is why. So I'm going to stop there. Thank you guys for staying on here with me. I have a number of videos that I'm going to be doing along this lines. In addition, the Lord has spoken seven things that we must do. I'm going to be doing an online class. It will be seven things that you must do really within the next 30 to 60 days to get into position, to come into alignment so that you will be prepared for the next wave. Okay. The Lord says to be to, that we need to get ready 
for the first wave of people coming into the kingdom. The first wave is coming to the United States of America. Okay? It's coming. And you need to know what you have to do to be prepared. I love you guys. Hi, Daryl. Thank you so much, Michelle, for being on. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Papa Anthony. Love you, love you, love you, Trishana. Um, look for the uh, Eventbrite link to sign up for that online class. It will be fairly quickly. In fact, I'm trying to get it scheduled within the next 10 days. And then that, those seven actions, will need, those are, that's what you will need to do with, within 30 days from the date of that class. You'll need to get some things into position really quickly. And here's the beauty of it. When you come into alignment with the kingdom agenda, it don't take all day. The Lord will up empower you to do in a day what normally would have taken you a month. He will empower you to do in a week what would have taken you six months. He will empower you to do in a month what used to take you a year. That is the beauty of acceleration and functioning in inside the kingdom alignment. Love you guys. And until next time, you make it a terrific day. Bye-bye.